except for the live one we just did. Yeah. Um, because we left all the mistakes. We want the mistakes to be in there. You know what I mean? We want it to sound raw. We want it to sound raw. We want it to sound real. We want it to have some kind of soul and backbone. Like, that's real. Like, you listen to all those old recordings. Why do they sound so good? Because they sound real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. Now you listen to recordings, and it's like, okay, cool. A robot recorded that. <laughs> well, you know, everything's gone backwards. Well, now people want vinyl because they want to hear the scritches and the scratches. Exactly. And the... Yeah, it's too bad. Go back the other way. Maybe we'll go back the other way. I hope so, honestly. I, I'd way rather I'd way rather people leave mistakes in songs and just let it go and own it. Play off a little bit, you know what I mean? And just have the groove down. That's the fucking groove, you know what I mean? That's it. Might not be perfect, but it's that's how it's supposed to be, you know? Absolutely. Um I think that's all I can really tell you about these. First video we ever had was Boxful. Sean uh, uh John Feldman made the video for us. Huh. And that huge line, there's a, there's a line in that video where we're waiting in line. It's uh, Thanksgiving in Los Angeles at the airport. It's like, it took us an hour and a half God. to go through the security line. Why at the would airport. you do that to yourself? Thanksgiving, why would you fly anywhere? <laughs> you totally bothered to stay home. <laughs> yeah, we had to. There was some, I, I can't remember why, but all of us had to fly somewhere. So it was a whole band and it felt it was long. That's not fun. We almost missed our flight. Yeah. But we didn't, which is crazy. Which um, is, that's good. Oh man, um, maybe memories. We had the music written before Bert was in the band, oddly. Hey. Really? That was pre-Bert. Yeah. Pre-Bert, barely pre-Bert, because he recorded uh. the vocals. So um, I, I jumped. We all lived around. <laughs> um, my mom had a little apartment in somewhere in Utah. I can't remember the area, but um, I ended up after crashing around. I finally crashed at her house for like a week, I think, or like a week and a half or something. But I made a little like vocal booth in her closet. And Bert recorded the vocals, or at least started recording the vocals to Baby Memories in that closet. I hear a lot of closet recordings happening. Well, what is it that, about the acoustics in there? Well, you need it to be dead for vocals, you know what I mean? Right. At least, you just don't need it to be, but it's a lot better. So we just put padding around it, and so when you sing into it, it's just the sound of that. You don't have like the echoes, you can put your own echoes on it and stuff, you know? It's better if you add them. I think so, yeah. But at the same time, Maybe not. Maybe it's better to do it the other way. Maybe that was the problem. Well, that's what they used to say. They used to say, go to the bathroom because it's really echoey. Totally. Like the natural reverb in the natural The natural way. reverb, yeah. Yeah, um, uh... Let's see, On My Own will be fun tonight. We play the... We play the different version of it. We play the... Oh, you have a new version. The band version, which was on the live show. I mean, minus all the string players. We hope to tour with that someday. We actually... So we played the um, one show. The one-off, yeah. And then we played Amoeba. Have you heard of Amoeba? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we played in Amoeba, and we played a, a tinier version. We had the gospel singers and the quartet, and we played it there, which was crazy because it's a small stage. Then we thought about, you know what, maybe we could actually do a tour with it. That'd be fun. The problem is it just might be too expensive, <laughs> but we'd like to. We just yeah. haven't figured out money-wise how it would work. Cause well, I guess you have to have, have a double duty. Like, you're the merch girl and the backup singer. Yeah, you're the just... coffee guy and the string player. Yeah. And we'd need seven more bunks just to do the small version. And so a bus holds 12, and we have nine people usually when we tour. So we'd have to get another bus, which, is, have to get another bus. which is way too expensive. <laughs> There's no way. We couldn't it's afford it. It's also a bit of a douche meter, isn't it? We I think so. Many buses. two buses. It's like, oh, mm. I don't know about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we'll just have them drive themselves. We'll just rent a car. Well, Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's tough out there. Um, yeah, that's all I got about the songs. Hopefully that's enough. I think so. You did a pretty good job. I try to give you a little bits of info on them. But we do a cool version of Lucy Fringe today. Nice. Which I don't want to tell you about because it's fun. Yeah, don't yeah. be surprised. Still bummed we don't have Under Pressure. I we really think play. you should just get the other singer from the other band. Just make yeah, them come out uh, and do it. My cam, yeah, I don't know. No, if they would do it, I think Oh, would. the original, original. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if... Can you get them <laughs> The Mike M. Hey, just show no. up. Uh, I, yo. Okay. I know we haven't played this song in like eight years, but you yeah, know, like Bowie, man. It's cool, yeah. plain, like... Come on. Maybe if they ever get back together, they'd want to do it. Oh, I don't know if I'd hold my breath for that one. But. <laughs> I, I guess I guess when people run out of money is when they make those decisions. They have to get back together. Yeah. Listen, I, I can't pay my car anymore. I love touring now. <laughs> we just like touring. That's why we're still on tour. Forever and ever and ever. Yeah, we don't stop touring. You have to love it. You have to. Because it's really miserable. You no, know, it is depending on what band you're in. I think. Well, that's true. And I don't mean that rude against every band that needs to be on tour. I just mean... Um, 
I love everybody in our band and I love everybody in our crew. And so when we're on tour, it's like, it's like, I finally get to see my friends. You know what I mean? When I'm at home, is just as awesome because then I finally get to see my wife. You know what I mean? So she's happy about that half, not happy about this half. Um, <laughs> we won't. We won't tell her that you're sick. Of your <laughs> sure. yeah. you know? No, I mean she's. I'm saying she's first. You know what I mean? Like that's fucking awesome that I get to have wife time. Well, and she's actually here too. She, woo. Okay, there you go. So at least you have wife so time and tour now. time. Yeah. It just you know, does get hard. Cause then I one have, guitar yeah. player of a band who shall not be named was once asked, what would you save in a fire? A whole band answered, oh, my wife, my dog, my kids. And he was like, my guitar. Must have been nice. That guitar. relationship didn't work out. But, you know. I, can, I can see why. <laughs> I can see why, too. Yeah. I guess it was a nice guitar. Oh, really? It's still, it's still firewood. <laughs> you can hit somebody with that thing. Probably Get yourself out of the fucking fire. Yeah, that's a good idea. Throw out the window and jump up in there. <laughs> then you save both. That's what I'm saying. There you go. All right. Well, I guess that's all we got. Take a press photo and call it a day. Okay. Let these guys get back to work. <laughs>